Leroy's Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough Part 5. Alright, so now we're in the Petalburg Woods. Before we get started here, I'll just say that you can find Zigzagoon, Wurmple, Silcoon, Cascoon, Talo, Shroomish, and Slackoth while you're in here. So, um, you can read this sign with all these amazing trainer tips for all you noobs out there. Um, and I guess we're just gonna jump right into it by fighting this guy. He caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Yeah, he has a full team of bug Pokemon. If you can avoid fighting this guy, I would definitely do it because it's such a waste of time. He has six Pokemon on his team, and you've probably seen this before, only this time it's not Magikarps, it's Wurmples. Yeah, he has six Wurmples on his team, so we're going to have to kill him all with the Ralts, and it's going to take a really long time because I can't even kill him in one hit. So, um, yeah, just be ready for this long and painful battle against all these Wurmples. Um, yeah, and just because it's going to take a long time, I'm just going to cut to the end of it because there's really no point in me showing everything. Um, by the way, if you have a Torchic, this battle's going to be a lot easier because you can come all with Ember. So yeah, I'll just cut to the end of this right now. Yes, we finally killed the last one! That only took like 20 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, we got up a level at least, that's good. And... I have all these Pokemon, but I still couldn't win. Yeah, maybe you should, you know, catch something other than Wurmple for once. So yeah, let's move along here. Um, before I do that, though, I'm going to switch over to Trico. Because Athena just got a bunch of action in that fight. Well, I would find a Pokemon in the very first step in the grass. Anyways, right here you can find a Paralyzed Seal, so that's worth grabbing. Um, and then you can head out over to this part. Now, let's see. Um... Oh yeah, but I don't understand, you know these ledges here, like, why can't your player just jump over them? Like, is he really, you know, that out of shape that he can't just hop over a ledge? But whatever, we're gonna come up here, and then you'll find this guy. And, uh, I don't really know if he's lost or what, but he's sort of running away. He asks you about Shroomish, which, which you can find in here, by the way. But then this guy comes out of nowhere! Yeah, he was gonna ambush you in the Petalburg Woods. Um, so yeah, this is where you get to meet, you know, the bad guys in this game. He's kind of threatening this guy right here, and he comes and hides behind you, even though I'm only, like, a ten-year-old kid. Seriously, don't hide behind me. Why would I want to face this guy? But yeah, this is Team Aqua. Now, um, if you're playing Ruby, this will be Team Magma instead. And this is kind of like Team Rocket, or Team Galactic in this game. It's Team Aqua. Um, all this guy's gonna have is level 9 Puchiana, whether you're fighting Team Aqua or Team Magma, so it's really not too hard. But yeah, it's just kind of the introduction of, you know, the bad guys, the villains in this game. And you'll definitely be seeing them a bunch later on, so yeah. Um, I really like the villains in this game, Team Aqua. You know, I just... I always thought of they are like better thugs, you know, than Team Galactic or Team Rocket ever were. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm sure some of you would disagree with me. Um, but anyways, we're gonna... Wow, Poochiana, you have like one hit point left, and now you're gonna use Sand Attack. Yeah, I hate sand attack so much. Oh wow. Now I'm just gonna start missing over and over. Yeah, if there's any way you could lose this battle, it's just because sand attack could probably annoy you. Like, the only way you're gonna lose is if you get sand attacked like six times. But anyways, we're gonna get up to level 10, and we're gonna defeat Team Aqua. Or, just this guy at least. We're actually gonna defeat all of Team Aqua. So yeah, I have some nerve messing with Team Aqua. I mean, I didn't even know. I'm just battling you. Well, you challenged me. It's your own fault. Anyways, um, this guy, since you saved his life and everything, he's going to give you a great ball, which is um, used for catching Pokemon better than a Pokeball, which you probably knew already. Um, so yeah, Team Aqua is apparently heading off to Rustboro City, and it's a crisis, so this guy has to leave. I don't know why he would run back after the guy that just chased him over into the Petalburg Woods, but whatever. So yeah, Rustboro City is where they're going to be, and that is where the first gym leader is, so we're heading there anyways. And this guy tells you some amazing tips. Yeah, stay out of the grass to avoid Pokemon, who would have thought of that? Apparently I didn't take his advice. Anyways, there's a hidden Pokeball right there. Um, and before I fight this guy, I'm going to switch to Ralts just because, you know, it's two levels longer, so I might as well fight. And it's another bug catcher. Now, don't worry, this guy doesn't have six Wurmples, but he is popular, apparently, because he has so many cool bug Pokemon. Or at least that's what he says. Um, anyways, this guy has one Ninkata on his team. Actually, I think in Emerald he has two Ninkatas. I'm not really sure, though. 
I just, for some reason, think that. Anyways, we're gonna kill it with Confusion. Or at least two Confusions, and... Yeah, Confusion does have a chance of confusing the opponent, which is kind of obvious if you think about it. So, yeah. Um, now let's see. Nincata you cannot find yet in the game, but pretty soon you'll be able to catch it, in case you're wondering. It's not really that good of a bug type. It can evolve into a Ninjask or a Shedinja. Which I guess are pretty good in competitive battling, but not that great in-game. And yeah, obviously you're not going to be popular if you lose. But whatever. So let's see, we can grab an item up here. And it's an Aether, which is pretty nice, because you can't get those usually too early in the game, but... Yeah. Um, in case you're wondering, that can raise your PP in a battle. Now over here you're going to see these trees. Um, you can't go back here yet, you're going to have to wait till you get the HM for cut, but once you do, you can go back there and grab some items. Um, but, yeah, I guess we'll come back and do that once we get cut. For now, we're just gonna head out back into the other side of Route 104, so let's talk to this guy. I like filling my mouth with seeds and spitting them out fast. I don't know why they used those words, like, filling my mouth and spitting it out fast. That's just kind of weird. Anyways, he gives you TM09. And we're gonna teach that to Trico, because Bullet Seed's a pretty good grass-type move. Alright, I saved 15 seconds of your life by skipping that. Anyways, right here is a Pokeball, and you can grab a Potion right here, I think. And there's one more hidden item back there, which I'll show you really quick. Yeah, it's a Super Potion, even better than the Potion. So that's all the hidden items back here, so now let's head in that building really quick. Alright, now, I don't want to show you everything in here, because it kind of takes a while to talk to everyone, but this girl will give you a whale Whalmer Pail, which can help your berries grow quicker. And... This girl will give you an S Spear Berry, so you don't have to come in this building, but you can grab those two items if you want to. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to cut some of that out just because I'm trying to pack a lot of stuff into this video. Anyways, that's all we're doing for now. Um, I guess we can go fight this trainer now. Because there are some, you know, trainers you have to fight before you can get into Rustboro City. And we'll start with you. Now let's see, who is this? Lady Cindy, I think... Yeah, she has a Zigzagoon, just like that guy we fought before the Petalburg Woods. I think she also gives you a lot of money as well, if I remember correctly. So you should probably fight her as well. Um, let's see, just probably a couple confusions will kill the thing. Yeah. Ooh, Growl! Wow. I don't really think that's going to make a difference in the battle at all. <laughs> so let's kill this thing. And that was really easy. <laughs> yeah, you should probably be able to kill that thing fine if you already beat the rich boy. Oh my! I love how they're so shocked that they lost. Like, what? My tail whip and growl combo failed me! How is this possible? Alright, now this girl finally makes up her mind and wants to battle me. Um, anyways, this girl's actually kind of hard because she has a Shroomish on her team. Um, but first she has this Lotad. I guess I'll talk about the Shroomish in a minute. Now, let's see, Lotad is an interesting Pokemon. It's a grass and water type. You cannot get it in Ruby, but in Sapphire you can get it earlier in the game, in one of the beginning routes. I think it's Route 102. Um, but yeah, it's kind of an interesting Pokemon, because Water and Grass is an odd typing. You usually don't see opposite typings paired like that, but it's kind of unique. So we'll finish it off with one last Confusion. And her next Pokemon is the Shroomish like I was talking about, and also that guy in the Petalburg Woods was talking about. You can actually catch Shroomish in the Petalburg Woods. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. It's actually kind of hard to take out, at least at this point in the game. Its defenses aren't bad, I will say that. Like, Confusion only does about a fourth, and that's what's annoying! It knows Stun Spore, which will paralyze you, which makes... It's really annoying, like, there's a chance that you can't attack it, plus it lowers your speed a ton. I actually have a Paralyzed Heal now that I think about it, but I don't really feel like using it. Just because I'll probably get killed by, you know, Absorb, it keeps getting critical hits. Right. Oh, I need three hit points. Alright, I think I'm going to be able to kill this thing. Just as long as it doesn't get, like, a critical hit. Okay, come on, Absorb, don't kill me, please! No, Rolts, why did you have to die? Alright, Shroomish. Now is where I get my revenge. Alright, Tree Ninja is going to kill you now. Avenge the Rolts, Trico! Yeah, that's what you get. Alright. Yeah, you shouldn't have battled! Wow, my Ralts. That's the first time a Pokemon of mine has died in this game, so yeah, that's exciting. Anyways, there's another tree you can cut, but we can't do that right now. Um, right here, you would be able to fight these people in the first double battle of the game, but no, my Ralts had to die, so I can't show you. So we'll be doing that later, I guess. Um, let's grab these berries really quick. 
Also, this lady right here will give you a chesto berry if you talk to her. Um, so yeah, and we can go ahead and fight this fisherman over here. You're the water Pokemon expert! Mm, yeah, sure, sure, water Pokemon expert. So I guess you probably have a bunch of really strong water Pokemon on your team, right? Oh, wrong! You have Magikarp! As a matter of fact, this guy has three Magikarps on his team, so there's really no point in me showing you. Alright, so we're gonna get up to level 11, which means we're gonna live as- blah, 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 blah. Apparently I can't talk today. Quick Attack! Yeah, we're gonna learn Quick Attack. And it has the exact same power as Pound, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. There's really no point of having Pound and Quick Attack. So yeah. Quick Attack's a nice move as priority, which means it will go first. Um, so yeah, it's a nice move to have. So, I guess we're done here at Route 104, which means Rustboro City is next, so stay tuned for more Pokemon Sapphire!